Die Uhrenkollektion, insane, 4 million private watch collection, let's go. If you're ever in an emergency, no matter where you are in the world, you pull that little piece out, an antenna pops out, and it calls rescue. Today, guys, we're in my office with a beautiful Dubai skyline behind me. Hey, ist schön. Da die Wohnung hat eine schöne Aussicht. Wo ist das denn bitte? Was für ein Hotel ist das denn? Hä, hey, ist das Versace? Nein, nein, nein. Was rede ich da für Müll? Ähm, wo ist das denn? Das ist der Hafen. Ist das doch das Versace? Nein, ich bin doch nicht blöd. Nee, kann gar nicht sein. Wo sind wir denn hier? Das ist das Five Palm. Das sehe ich hier. Das ist das Five Palm. Das hier müsste, oder? Ich habe keine Ahnung, wo er wohnt. Wo wohnt er? But the most important thing in this video is that my friend Jake, the crypto Jake, king, the crypto king, sich selber the crypto king zu nennen, muss ich sagen, finde ich, find ich gut. Finde ich, find ich gut, the crypto king, sich selber den Namen zu geben. Ja, Respekt, ja, 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 das fühle ich, feiere ich. Äh, die Leute, ne, wir hatten schon mal ein Video von ihm äh, angesehen und äh, ja, hatten sehr viel Spaß gehabt. Here to show me some mind-blowing watches. I think we have three and a half to four million dollars in watches in the back. Well, we can start Let's see what you got, bro. It's the coolest one. This one's a Richard Mill skull. There's only 30 in the world. We'll go into more detail about that a little bit later. But this one is prototype number three, and the current price is over two and a half million dollars. Wild. This is absolutely. Wieso sagt der Prototyp Nummer drei? Steht das hinten drauf? It's incredible. I. It's actually mind blowing. It's a very, very beautiful watch, and um, I don't understand how it can be so expensive, but uh, it's a scarcity, Seltenheit. right? It's like they, they only make so many, and uh, people really love them. They're very complicated, of course. Mm -hmm. um, they have a turbillion literally in the mouth. Um, Ein turbillion? <laughs> Ein turbillion! Also erstmal die Uhr, ähm, das war, glaube ich, die erste Skull Tourbillon, die es gab. Sylvester Stallone hatte, meine ich, auch so eine, mich erinnern zu können. Und die Preise natürlich sind teurer und teurer geworden. Am Ende ist es wäre mal interessant zu sehen, wie die so verkauft werden aktuell. Gucken wir mal. Ah, siehst du, gibt nur die, okay. Mm, ja, gibt nicht viel. Um, solid Gold Skull. The entire, I, it's insane. The clasp, I got a little scratch on it. It's gonna cost me $10,000 to get a new clasp. That's what happens when you get one of these watches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. But you said uh, retail is $600,000. Yeah. 600 and they're up literally 4x because the watch market has been going crazy recently. Insane. Also, ich muss sagen, bei dem Crypto King, man merkt, dass er sich auf jeden Fall sehr ernst nimmt. Also, uh, <laughs> das merke ich schon. Okay. okay, so later in this video, maybe we can talk a little bit more about it, but let's go into the, um, the other watches you have. Of course. That are more affordable. <laughs> well, affordable is relative term. It's exactly. Of course, we'll go into those. No, they're still extremely expensive, guys. I'm actually just joking. This is a ceramic AP scale. Oh, heftiger Typ, Alter. Oh, ey, wenn das seine Uhr ist, mashallah, der hat eine brutale Sammlung. This is one of their highest sought after, most expensive watches in the Audemars catalog. So basically what makes this so expensive is most people think gold watches are the most expensive type of watch because gold, precious mm. metal, all of that. They don't realize that to cut ceramic, it's nearly impossible. And they make them... It's nearly impossible, ah, but it's not. More limited supply yeah. of ceramic watches. So ceramic watches actually cost exponentially more than gold watches. I have this exact watch in gold. Ich muss sagen, hier unser Karl, ne, der schwingt mit den Uhren schon so rum, als wäre das hier alles gar kein Problem hier, ne? Gold mm -hmm. without the skeleton and it goes for about 300,000. This one with the full skeleton goes for right now it's pushing about 720, 750,000. So ah, even though this one is Die Uhren haben ein bisschen gelitten, glaube ich. Also, guck mal mal. Skeleton, ach guck mal, 600. Ja, okay, er hat 700 gesagt, 100 Mille mehr, ne? Ja, ist, aber es finde ich, also die ein bisschen runtergegangen ist jetzt nicht übertrieben. And not gold, it Krass. Costs more than two times the gold version. Crazy. And how many did they make of this? Um, it wasn't a limited supply run. Like, of the RM, there's only 30. Mm -hmm. For this one, there's a, um, not an unlimited supply run, because it's a very limited number, but they didn't put a cap on it. They, mm -hmm. they didn't say there's 50 total. So how much is this specific watch? This specific one, right now, if you walked into a store, it'd be about $700,000. Between wow. 700 and 750, depending on the store, Crazy. if it's new, what year, all those things. $700,000, guys. In But ceramic, not even in gold. Ceramic, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely, absolutely <laughs> incredible. So what is the retail on this? 
Um, I actually don't know the retail on it because in a eine Frage, die ich auch liebe. A AP store, I've never once yeah. seen one. But of it's these. way lower, right? Should oh, be. Oh yeah, so it'll, 100, 200, 200. between 100 and 200,000 yeah. is usually the retail. Beautiful. Oh, I can see it's a moon face here. Uh -huh. Da ist eine Mondphase mit drin, mein Freund. Da ist einfach auf 6 Uhr eine Mondphase. Psch, wer hätte es gedacht? Ich meine, der Listenpreis, der Uhr liegt bei 170. 170.000 Euro, meine ich. Just like Carl Moon. Guys, that's amazing. Everyone knows that I am the moon, right? And that's why I bought my Patek Philippe. It's the moon face. As you can see here, you can see the face of the moon. Actually, I have a video about my Nautilus. You don't want to miss that because it's incredible. You don't... You, I mean, the, the, the guy who owned this watch before me... Uh, was actually a president, an actual president. I can't say who. who. I to say where. <laughs> I can't say because uh, last time I said, I got in huge trouble. So I had to delete all my videos about it because uh, li literally the, the presidential ministry of this country that, uh, that who owned this, they literally like were chasing me, telling me I have to, to take down the, the, the video. So I can't say, but um, off camera I will tell you. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's cool. Link down below and the card up here if you wanna go watch that. What's so cool about this one is it's called the perpetual calendar. Yeah. And so it shows you the day, the month, the week, and the moon phase. So yeah. as the moon changes in the sky. President von Togo, echt? Is this so, Goa? Is this real talk or a cap, bro? Huh? Bro, go on. What's the sign? Uh, if yeah. you have the watch set, you can see whether or not it's going to be a full moon tonight. You can see literally all about the Amazing. watch. And yeah, actually, all of these watches, it, these are your personal watches. It's, it's your collection, right? Yeah, these are my personal watches. Watches apply very similarly to crypto aspects. You yeah. can take them anywhere in the world. They're liquid assets no matter yeah. where you go. And when you board an airplane, you can't fly with more than $10,000. Uh, it's worldwide um, yeah. regulations. Yeah. Well, you can fly with a two and a half million dollar watch and no one says anything. Yeah, so perfect. it's actually pretty cool because it's one of those assets that can move around the world without yeah. people actually giving you a hard time about it. Yeah, incredible. Liquid. If you want to sell this 2.5 million dollar watch, I'm sure there will be someone out there who will buy it. Oh, of course. You have it's... to find the buyer who has two million liquid yeah. for the watch. Yeah. But the ones that the... should be possible, right? Because it's such an attractive watch. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, there's only one for sale on the whole market. One of the most famous soccer players in the world, who I'm not going to name drop right now, yeah. tried to find one and he offered two million dollars flat to anyone willing to sell it, mm -hmm. and he couldn't find it. No yeah. one was willing to unload it. Crazy. And with there only 30 in the world, and them being in the hands of Sylvester Stallone, Mayweather, Pharrell, those types of guys don't need liquidity. So they're never mm -hmm. selling their watches. Yeah. Guys in crypto, they don't need liquidity. Yeah. So they're locked. They're in diamond hands. Yeah, a little bit like Bitcoin, right? People buy Bitcoin, but they tend not to sell it because they know the future value will be higher. I'm sure it's the same with these. Like people buy these watches and they they, they feel like an investment. They love the watches. They they keep them. They don't sell. Was so der Crypto King dürfte einer der langweiligsten Gesprächspartner der Welt sein. Ich finde, der gibt schon Mühe mit erklären. Schon der Crypto King. And the prices keep going up. And that's exactly why they appreciate like crazy, yeah. including what's going on right now with inflation. We, we're being told yeah, it's eight yeah. percent. We know yeah. it's not eight percent. It's like thirty Much plus percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on top of it, people. Alter, the the inflation is. 30 percent had I got exact. Okay. So geschwollen. Der muss ja ein bisschen lockerer machen, glaube ich auch. Der muss ja ein bisschen. Der muss ja ein bisschen lockerer. Ja, ja. Muss ein bisschen. Who are actually having dollars and having them stored yeah. are buying hard assets that appreciate. Yeah. And so more money is flowing into watches and real estate yeah. and cars like that beautiful Bugatti of yours. Exactly. So that's why you have all these luxury assets appreciating exactly. for the first time in history versus depreciating. That's what I've been telling people as well. So the money printing goes straight into these um, high end items like watches, even real estate stocks. Those are the assets that the rich people are holding. And then, of course, the middle class and the poor people, they get diluted because they hold money in their banks. And the inflation hits the middle class and the poor people, and it actually benefits the rich people because the rich people hold uh, the assets that benefit from inflation. So it's a little bit sad that the banks are just completely printing money for the rich and just making the poor poor. Completely um, agree. But if you understand that concept, like what you just described, yeah. you start positioning into Bitcoin and hard assets that appreciate and mm -hmm. real estate. Exactly. So. so exactly, you can decide for yourself, guys, do you want to keep your money in the bank, which is absolutely stupid because you're losing money every, every year? Or are you going to buy a watch, maybe buy some crypto, real estate, something that is inflation hedged, right? Of course. Hört, hört doch den Crypto King zu, Leute, was... 
Hier sind 1040 Leute. Hör mal, hört, hört, hört ihr nicht zu hier? Money in the Bank ist Schwachsinn. Kauft euch Sachen, die Sinn machen. Wie zum Beispiel, ähm, wie zum Beispiel, äh, guck mal, bei der 1 Uhr hättet ihr schon, wenn die jetzt immer noch online ist, dann werde ich, äh, bei der 1 Uhr hättet ihr einfach auf Bo Dings einfach, guck mal, ist die immer noch online? Nein, die ist immer noch online, okay. Äh, aber ja, also auf jeden Fall, ja, einfach auf die Webseite gehen, Uhren kaufen. Was soll ich sagen, Leute? Was soll ich sagen? Der Schwede, der Schwede, der erklärt uns die Welt, die Welt, wie, wie, es, wie es ihm gefällt. Guck mal hier, die Hulk. Ist übrigens, muss ich sagen, die ist ein bisschen teurer, die Hulk, als die andere Hulk, die wir anbieten. Aber ich muss sagen, das Set ist eine 10 von 10. LCN 100 mit Rechnung, mit Kassenbeleg, mit allem. Aber das muss ich sagen, habe hab ich... Das muss, muss ich sagen, fand ich schon ein sehr, sehr gepflegtes Set. Die Uhr ist, glaube ich, sogar wie neu. Oder, falls ihr einfach 319.000 Euro habt, ne, äh, dann muss ich sagen, ist hier äh, die RM11. Äh, die RM11. Die RM61 ist einfach das, das Ding, ne? Um, actually, this watch I bought approximately seven months ago, I think, or so. Krypto hat vor der Inf <lacht> <lacht> Krypto hat super vor Inflation geschützt in den letzten sechs Monaten. Vincent Wowie, ja, was bist du für ein Hater? Hör mal, the, the, uh, 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 buy the dip. Was los? Was los? Buy, buy the dip. Äh, kannst du die Datejust mit Emalie Dahl etwas zum Ziffernblatt sagen? Sehr seltenes Ziffernblatt. Ähm, daraus ist das heutige Karussell Dial entstanden und die Datejust mit dem Emalie Ziffernblatt ist eigentlich einer der seltensten. Ich habe sie, glaube ich, jetzt schon ein bisschen länger. Wundert mich eigentlich, ist, wenn man mich so fragt von der Datejust Serie mit dem Hans Tooth Dial, diese zwei Dials sind die besten äh, Zifferblätter. Und ich habe von diesem Emalie Ziffernblatt nur eins. Also das ist das Einzige, was ich bestand habe. Ich habe auch kein, aber auch kein anderes mehr in der Hinterhand oder in diesen Dingern. Das ist das Einzige, diese, diese Datejust mit dem Emalia Ziffernblatt, sehr, sehr spannendes, sehr, sehr spannendes Modell. Guck auch mal auf Chrono, versuch mal eine zu finden, gibt es keine. So, for 137.000 Dollar, um, you can tell me, but I think it's like 180, 190 now. Yeah, it's pushing 200, if it's not 200 already. Really? Yeah. Crazy. Also 7526 hat schon brutal gelitten, ich mag die Uhr auch gar nicht. Ähm, aber die Uhr hat schon brutal einen Hit erlitten, also 7526 ist auch das Problem, weißt du, die Uhr ist auch nicht die Uhr ach, Alter, was, die ist immer noch so teuer Alter, das kann doch nicht sein ja, okay, privat 150 und so, finde ich aber trotzdem noch viel Geld Pff, die Uhr ist noch lange in Produktion, also ich feiere die Null yeah, last time I made a video about it, it was like 180, it's going up more and more the more I wear it, it's just exploding And that's what's so nice about them. It's Bei mir like kann man Krypto bezahlen, ja, klar. Your wrist, and so scratches yeah. don't even matter. And It's liquid. And liquid. You This can... one, for sure. Like, if I want to sell it, I can call someone, like, in literally five minutes, someone is going to buy it, right? I'd buy it from you right now. Right? You give me a price a little bit under market, so <laughs> that's how liquid it is. <laughs> Die beiden so, doch gefunden, oder? I, I Der like eine kauft von dem anderen einfach, oder? But what I, what I like even yeah, more ganz, than this. Ganz wilde Vibes hier im Video. Why you're Carl Moon? You're the exactly, Bitcoin guy. Exactly. All right, let's pick up the next watch because we haven't seen everything yet, guys. This is one. When I travel the world, I usually get something that reminds me of the places I've been. Yeah. This one is a very special watch because you can only buy it in the Middle East. Um, Arabic countries are the only places it's sold, and mm. I'll show you why right now. This is beautiful. So feel the weight on this. Wow, this is very heavy. So what it is? It's a nice. platinum Daytona. Nice. With an Arabic numeral dial. Heftig The numbers, as you can see, are Arabic numerals. It feels very expensive. Oh, you can do curls with that thing. It's yeah. literally, it's. It's very <laughs> heavy. It's almost a little bit too heavy. No? It's like. Uh, you have to like the feel of a platinum watch. Yeah. Because, like you said, it is so heavy compared to stainless steel and even gold. It weighs This almost looks twice as much. It's amazing to my outfit today. It, look, it's like. It matches everything. Perfect. Guys, look at this. It looks amazing. Looks um, very good. So Rolex, when they make a platinum watch, they yeah. do that baby blue face. So yeah. most people can't tell the difference between platinum and stainless steel. Rolex <laughs> um, differentiates the two because all of their platinum watches have this almost typical nice color one. baby blue face. And that baby blue face signifies a platinum watch. Oh, wow. So watch people, they know immediately. Exactly. Yeah. But what's the coolest part about this, if this watch didn't have the Arabic numbers, it'd be about 200, 220,000. With the Arabic numbers, it goes from 220 
to about 350, 360 like that. Wow. So just the data being Ten original more. and having numbers that can't be purchased anywhere else in the world yeah. add over $100,000 in value to the watch. Mark, du kannst doch nicht sagen, dass du Bock auf das Video hast. Sunny Theater, ich liebe das Video. Hör mal, ich wäre am liebsten mit denen jetzt in einem Raum. Ich würde am liebsten jetzt mit denen, ich würde einfach, ich hätte am liebsten auch alle Uhren mit dabei, dass sie die einmal alle antatschen können. Fände ich super. So this is a 300 Wusstest du das auch, Marc, dass Platinuhren ein hellblaues Ziffernblatt haben? Das war mir äh, bekannt. 60.000 Dollar Watch. But next week, 370. <laughs> Depends what inflation is. It could literally be <laughs> plus in a yeah. very short period of time. Inflation is crazy It could right be. Now, It's just actually uh, My mom calls this watch, my two plus million dollar watch, a claw machine watch. She pretends I got it out of like a claw machine mm, at like an yeah, arcade yeah, yeah, because yeah. it literally looks almost like a, a toy. And so even though it's a watch that costs more than any apartment I've ever bought and mm -hmm. most of the homes in my family, mm -hmm. she literally calls it the claw machine watch because it yeah. is it, almost it, a joke. It because almost feels a bit like that. Yeah. It looks like a toy. And guys, actually, we have uploaded a video, a full video about this uh, 2.5 million dollar Richard Mill. I will leave the link down below. You can also click the card up here if you want to go watch that or just go to my channel because this watch deserves... I have to go over the comment from Jeremy Frappen. <laughs> a full video, so it's over on my channel already uploaded. Um, incredible piece, incredible piece. Thank you. So this is the Dubai watch. And whenever I travel, my parents are the most important thing in the world to me. So I got myself a gift, but I also got my mom a very, very special gift. We'll show the gift after, of course, we do the last watch mm. because mom's going to find out. Die Platin in Daytona reflektiert mehr als als der Kopf von dem Rechten. Aber ich muss sagen, also ich finde seine, seine ist schon eine gute, also schöne Kopfform. Hat eine sehr, also ich muss sagen, er kann die, also ich finde seine, also das ist schon okay. Out on video, what I got while I was in Dubai. Okay. And then this last one is a gift my mom actually got me for my birthday. It is the cheapest watch by a long shot in my current collection that I'm traveling with. But at the same time, it's also one of the most unique. <lacht> So this watch, when you buy it, it's called the Breitling Emergency. You actually have to register it to your specific person. Um, whoever buys it, you have to tell the government, full KYC, you have to give them your information. They have yeah, to know who they're looking right? for. This piece right here, where it says antenna, if you're ever in an emergency, anywhere in the world. So it goes over a satellite technique. There are different emergency versions. The first, the second, the third and so on. Wenn der Radar quasi da drüber fliegt, die letzte war, glaube ich, mit zwei verschiedenen Antennen drin und so. Ist schon eine spannende Technik. Ich finde es eine auch interessante Uhr. Erfüllt halt einen spezifischen Zweck, ne, dass man dich orten kann und äh, am Ende dich aus einer Notsituation retten kann. Ne? And I mean truly anywhere, whether it's an island, you break your leg hiking a waterfall, your boat stopped in the middle of the ocean, no matter where you are in the world, you pull that little piece out, an antenna pops out and it calls rescue. And so anywhere in the world. Ja, es ist also eine Antenne kommt da nicht raus, sondern es ist quasi ein Draht und diesen Draht zieht man dann raus, so auf diese Länge und dann wird halt eine Verbindung hergestellt, wenn der Satellit drüber fliegt. Ne? Der muss natürlich drüber fliegen. Ähm, ich hatte mal so ein Special Video gesehen, da haben die das erklärt. Bei der ersten Generation dauert es, glaube ich, einen Tag, also quasi, ne, wenn er drüber geflogen ist und dann wieder drüber und es gibt dann auch verschiedene andere, neuere, wo man dann irgendwie alle 20, 30 Minuten quasi ein, ein Signal von dem, äh, abne äh, von dem äh, Sa Satelliten empfangen kann. Das sind verschiedene Techniken. Well, you'll have a helicopter rescue, mm -hmm. literally picking you up and making sure you're okay. The problem is, if you try to show your buddies how cool that rescue option is, yeah. they charge you $5,000 the minute you unscrew that piece just to put it back in and re-register the watch in the system. Yeah. It's in the National Emergency Database. Every country in the world looks out for this type of um, notification system. Okay, so basically, this is a good watch for people that go into the mountains, for skiing, you know, right? Um, but okay, so if I screw this like this, play it out immediately there's a signal going out and how many minutes do they wait to act like how many minutes do I have to call them and say sorry it was a mistake um, there's you have to call Breitling to let them know there's a mistake but they start acting immediately einfach Breitling anrufen Jungs Jungs arbeitet ihr am Sonntag um 3 Uhr nachts hey Breitling Emergency hallo hallo grüß dich äh, ich habe irgendwie die Antenne rausgezogen weil ich sie meinen Freunden zeigen wollte 
Uh, könnt ihr kurz mal das Einsatzkommando abbrechen? Ja. Yeah. Um, because when you initiate that, it's the yeah, same so the plane crash. Mega the technique. beacon that goes Super. off when a plane crashes yeah. is the same beacon that goes off in this watch. So when you unscrew that, every military in the world, anyone who's within the vicinity, it goes right to a satellite mm. and it lets them... <laughs> every military in the world. Alter, du drehst da dran. Du ziehst die Antenne raus. Alter, das ganze US-Militär kommt zu dir. Kommt dich holen, Alter. Nicht nur US-Militär. Auch, auch die Deutschen, die Franzosen, die Engländer, alle kommen. Das ganze Militär, alle Militär, alle kommen zu dir. Ja. Some know there's an emergency at this location and send rescue. Oh, wow. And so they don't know what the emergency is, but rescue is being sent. So the minute you pull that out, the rescue is coming. And if you're on an island in the middle of nowhere, it might take oh. 12 hours, but a helicopter is going to come and find you. What if you get like kidnapped? In my head. Oh. That's the one thing it doesn't really work well for. Because if you get kidnapped, the first thing they're going to do is take off your watch. So if you get yeah. kidnapped, if they let you leave your watch on, which is yeah. very doubtful, then yeah. you can pull it on and you'll be yeah. rescued. But yeah, yeah. Maybe du wirst, du wirst gekidnappt und dann machst du einfach den Leute, Leute, warte mal, ziehst so ein Ding raus, wofür ist das? Sagt er dann der, der Typ, der dich gekidnappt. Gar, das ist gar nichts. Das, das ist einfach so ein so, ein, so ein Antenne aus der Uhr raus. Ähm, du, ja, das ist das, ähm, äh, ja, das, das muss wohl sein. They take you in the car with you. <laughs> ah, dreht gleich der erste Flugzeugträger. Yeah, okay. It, it's you know, definitely man. mostly made for for extreme sports and stuff. But it's very cool, man. Very cool. So how much is this one? That one runs about twenty thousand dollars new. So it's a baby compared to the other yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. But in the case of an like a real emergency where you're in the desert and you're also, ich sag mal so, um jetzt in seiner ne, um, also mit seiner Richard Mill, die zweieinhalb Millionen Dollar kostet, müssen wir noch mal bitte gerade einmal sagen. Äh, na klar, da kann er keinen mitrufen. Ne? Nur die, nur die äh, Kidnapper kann er damit rufen, wenn er sich äh, in London oder in Barcelona befindet. Your car breaks down or yeah. you're skiing and you break your leg and have no reception. This is the watch that you need over anything because yeah. you can't call for help and you die otherwise. And yeah. this watch is what actually calls the help for you. Thank you so much, bro. That was all the watches, right? Yes, that was the watches. But the gift I got from my mom is what's super cool. Yeah, sure. Yes. So everything I get in crypto and my mom, since I was a little boy, would always go into jewelry stores. I think I grew up in a very well off family, but not like a multimillionaire family. I had a working mom, a working dad, um, middle class family, yeah. um, was very well taken care of. And my mom always wanted a yellow diamond ring. And none of her husbands ever got her that present because no one was making the type of money we make in crypto. Yeah. And so when I was in Dubai, I actually found something insane. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is very Dubai. This is very Dubai. This <laughs> is a three plus carat yellow diamond ring. It's a deep fancy yellow, which is the hardest yellow to get. It is wow. incredible. It costs, I'm not going to say the cost because I don't want my big, mom to know. It's uh, a big stone. Oh, yes, it's three and a half carats. It's a it's massive stone big. for a normal diamond and for a yellow diamond, it's absurdly large. And yeah, it, yes. I mean, I actually know a little bit about diamonds. I think this is this is spectacular. Natürlich weiß er, natürlich weiß er ein bisschen was über cool. Diamanten. And ja. the yellow diamonds, they're more expensive than the, the... They're more expensive and much more rare. Um, when a diamond has a hint of yellow, it actually drives down the value because yeah. it doesn't, it's not a, like a clear, yeah. like the perfectly, the perfect clarity. Yeah. But this one, the deep fancy yellows yeah. are highly sought after because it's a true yellow diamond. A gift for mom when I get back home. Amazing. She's going to be really excited. Amazing. Wow, guys, this is crazy. This is a very, very beautiful. Any girl in the world will be absolutely over the moon for this. Crazy. That's very nice of you to give that to your mom. She'll be happy. She'll be very happy. I hope. I, I know she'll be super She stoked. will be she'll super be happy. happy. Yeah. One cool thing is that all of these watches, you told me you actually bought them with crypto. Yes. Amazing. We're in the crypto space. We're in the crypto space. It doesn't make sense to use bank accounts when, as you said, money sitting in the bank account hyperinflates. Yeah. Yeah. If I want to spend crypto, it goes crypto into hard assets, yeah. hard assets into personal storage. Yeah, that's what I'm doing as well. I bought mine with crypto as well. I think crypto is definitely the way to go. But all the links down below to uh, Jake, the crypto king. Right now, we're going to go potentially watch shopping because I'm looking for a watch. I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna buy Richard Mill, maybe something else, but I think you will help me decide. Um, so that's where we're going right now. Das zweite Video haben wir schon gesehen. Die Experten. Davon werden wir uns noch ein paar Videos anschauen in der Zukunft. 